So making signs on my CNC accounts for at least 85% of my business. And I'm gonna show you a quick rundown of my workflow. And then we're also gonna take a quick look at the most commonly asked questions like, should you mask them? How do you paint them and how do you seal them? So the first thing I always like to do is start with a very basic set of drawings, something like this. These drawings basically outline the size and the shape, the wording, and it gives the customer kind of a visual representation of what these signs will look like. I then either email or share these drawings with my customer in something like Google Drive, which is really simple and easy to do. Once the customer is happy with this, I get them to sign off on this and then I will create a cut list based on these drawings. Next up is cutting everything to size and I usually prefer to start with the larger sizes first and then work my way down to the smallest boards. Once all my boards are cut to size, it's time for masking. Now in general, I do find that it is better for me to mask before I engrave and paint versus trying to sand back afterwards, especially if you've got fine detail that you want to preserve. I do know there's a bit of a love-hate thing going on with aura masking, especially when it comes to the sticky residue it leaves behind sometimes, and of course the price. However, I have found something that is literally half the price, and dare I say, gives you almost better results than aura masking. But I do want to do a full video on that one, so make sure you subscribe because it's going to be a good one. So the drawings I made at the start of this project comes in very handy at this point because it allows you to set up your jig according to the size of the actual boards that you are making. So if you've got multiple of the same size, you can do all of them in one go before actually spending the time to adjust your jig. And just doing that saves you a lot of time as well. Next up is painting. Again, just to make things easier for myself, I just run a bit of masking tape around the edges of the board if the masking on the top does not already cover that. So this just saves me a bit of extra time sanding that down or cleaning it up afterwards. Spray painting these boards is by far the easiest way to go. I generally start with a base coat first to prevent any tannins in the wood from discoloring the top coat, especially if it's white like this. And this is probably not necessary for all types of wood, but definitely for these kind of boards that I'm using. I try to do a couple of thin coats, making sure to hit it from different angles to get good coverage as well. And in the past, I have done these signs with a brush. And it's so much more time consuming because you sometimes have to stop midway through a big batch like this because the paint actually dries on the brush and you have to clean that and clean it afterwards. So definitely give spray painting a go and see if that works for you. This is by far the most satisfying part of the job for me, and that's peeling off the masking. Usually I don't need to do any additional work to these, but I do like to hit them with a 120 grit sandpaper. Anyway, just to make those edges pop a little bit more. But I think that's just satisfying my OCD in most cases, to be honest. These boards will obviously be exposed to the elements, so to seal them, I use a linseed oil with anti-mold formulation. And this is actually very easy to apply using an old rag. And I like to start on the back of the boards so that I can pour out a little bit of the oil on top and then soak that up into an old rag and then just basically going all over the back and then working it in and then flipping that over and doing the front as well. When I get to the front, I try not to put too much pressure on the rack so it does not run into the engraved parts of the sign. It's no big deal really if it does go onto the paint though, because you could just wipe it off with a clean towel. I like to repeat this process a couple of times, leaving the oil to soak in for a couple of hours between coats. And I can usually tell it had enough oil when it just sits on the surface and it doesn't soak up anything anymore. At this stage, I just wipe off any excess with a clean rag and I also give my customers some basic directions on how to reapply oil as and when is needed just to keep them looking like new. So making signs like these are pretty straightforward. If however you do want to make some extra money on it, then I highly recommend you watch this video next. It goes into a lot more detail on how to find your customers once with hardly any competition, how to advertise for free, how much you should charge, as well as how to keep track of your time and expenses. So I'll see you on the next one.